Welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video and in this video I want to share with you what I have been working on uh, with the Untold Engine. As you know, I am constantly improving it and I like to share with you uh, the progress. Um, and what have I done? Well, basically uh, one of my biggest goals uh, for this new version, version 0.14, was to prepare the engine so that I can develop a soccer game. And to do that, I needed to uh, implement some uh, steering behaviors in the AI. Uh, for example, um, I didn't have any uh, group uh, steering behavior, so I had to implement um, separation, um, cohesion, and alignment so that I, I can implement the flocking um, steering behaviors, which is going to be needed when you are, you know, uh, developing a soccer game. You want the whole players to somehow uh, keep their formations. So I needed to do that and that's what I did. Um, luckily it didn't take too much time and I was able to have that up and running very quick. I also implemented um, a scene manager. Uh, before this, uh, you basically didn't have a star um, scene, a start menu, a loading scene and stuff like that. It would go directly into the main scene. Uh, so I decided to change that and make that engine way better. So now you have a start scene and you can have a loading scene and you can have um, you know different scenes in your game. Um, now one thing that I noticed when I was implementing the loading scene was that I was using sprites to um, give a feedback to the user that the game was loading, right? Um, but I realized why am I using sprites to create such feedback? Why not use the shaders? So. I took some time off uh, from working on the engine and I started playing more with shaders, which I absolutely love and I'm fa you know, fascinated with them. Um, so I took some time and learned more about them and I was able to implement a loading circle and started playing with more stuff. And then I wondered, well, I need to implement something like this in the engine and how can I do it? How can I give uh, the developers a canvas where they can go in and just um, develop their own shaders so that they can um, showcase it in their games using the game engine. And I made those changes in the engine as well. Uh, I basically implemented a new entity, uh, which is called a shader entity. I really couldn't find another name for it. But basically it's like a canvas where you can just go in um, and implement your own shader and it, the engine will render it for you. Um, and I got so into it that I uh, implemented this visualization shader, which can show you the position of the soccer player as you are moving it across the, uh, you know, across the field. And as I was working on the game, I realized something was wrong with the normal maps. Um, I took a look at it and realized I was basically, uh, I had made a mistake in the computation, but luckily the fix was very simple. Um, and I was able to get that up and running quite easily. So now you can see some of the normal maps details popping up on the field and also on the player's uniform. After that, I kept working on finally implementing the soccer game and I was able to get some players on the field and I implemented some um, AI for the players and now the players can pass the ball, they can shoot. And I also implemented this visualization shader which will show you the influence that the player has uh, near his surroundings. Um, I think that is very cool because it's going to help me more, um, you know, help the AI make some decisions depending on the influence uh, of the enemy and the nearby players. So after I implemented that and I also uh, did some more um, AI for the soccer game itself, um, I decided to make a little, you know, demo for the game. So I basically compiled everything up. I put in the scene manager, the AIs, the shaders, all of that, and I was able to create something what you see right now on the screen. And of course, the game not, not only works on your Mac, but it can also work on your phone. So um, I'm very happy with the changes and with the progress that I have made with the game engine. However, there are many more issues that I have to fix. And one of the big ones that I have to fix is the fact that um, right now, the animation system only use uh, four kinematics, and um, it is very hard to do animations with four uh, kinematics. Most people will uh, do animations with uh, uh, inverse kinematics, 
So I have to make some changes in the engine so uh, it can run, it can play some uh, inverse kinematics animation, which is basically what is going to help me uh, make the animations better for the, for the players. Right now, the animations, they don't look good at all. And I'm aware of that, but I'm taking everything one step at a time. Um, and that's going to be one of the major changes that I'm going to do in version 0.15 for the game engine. Um, and I'm going to, you know, keep you updated, keep you posted. So uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, make sure to follow me here on YouTube and also on Twitch. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to join my um, Discord channel, especially if you are if you are a new uh, indie game engine developer. Um, it may benefit you to join us. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, this is version 0 0.14 of the game engine. And by the way, I forgot to add this to the game demo, but basically um, to play the game with your keyboard and your mouse, uh, you simply just obviously move your mouse, but you have to press on the shift key in order for the player to run. Um, you can also play it with your keyboard, uh, with your keyboard, uh, with your controller if you want to, or you can play it on your mobile device. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.